This is the literature or the popular press that tells us why we have teams and organisations. On a very fundamental level, we have teams because we are human beings. And human beings do not like to be alone. Human beings are social creatures. Very few of us are going somewhere alone. And if we go somewhere alone, we find people who we can associate with. Because often we feel it's uncomfortable. This term is called homophily and we usually associate ourselves with people that are like us in terms of gender, religion, nationality. I'm sure any country you travel to you'll find the Spanish speaking person very very quickly and you immediately strike up a conversation even if they're not Peruvian but it's something you share in common. I've shown you the statistic that in groups of 10 we are basically not doing anything for a very long time. It's easy to hide. Teams are not good because we're always going to have someone who's not going to do the best. Because ah, the others will do it. And if you see that they're doing it, what are you going to do? You're going to pick up their work? No, you're going to go, well if they are not doing it, I'm not doing it either. So in a very short time, we're going to be really, really unproductive. However, teamwork is not always the solution. But most important, teamwork doesn't happen automatically. It's a process that needs continuous attention. It's no good just taking a team for team building once and then assuming it keeps going. It's like anything. It needs reinvestment. It needs bringing things together. In some organizations, you may have heard, they have beer and pizza nights. There are lots of organizations like Google or Amazon, what they hold is beer and pizza nights, where their teams just get beer and pizza to socialize after work. We know that some fashion brands, such as Louis Vuitton, are doing exactly the same to facilitate innovation with their teams. So it's a process that requires resource, time and money, and continuous attention. And we know that training for teams can make a difference. Muchísimas gracias por venir.